Well, when I first came to this bookshop, nobody was in the bookshop except for Mr. Shamba. And I said, do you have a book on cars? <laughs> I came with my mother. And then he said, book on cars? Okay, I'll get you. And then he put a stool and climbed on top and went up to the roof and pulled out a book. And since then, my only ambition was to get close to it. It just didn't happen overnight. I'm confessing this to you now. <laughs> And then I'd come into the bookshop, say some nonsense, just notice his reactions and leave. What is the he name? A strip of land to you. Uh -huh. It's in Hindi. Doga uh -huh. Zameen. He wrote about the two nation theory. That's so more popular. I tell Mr. Shanbag shop, and in the middle there's this huge mountain of books in I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers. If you dig layer by layer, you'll get an archaeology of literary life, you know. You, 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 you. <laughs> he retains his knowledge of his books and his courtesy and his interest in individual customers. But his shop has got a little more berserk, and I think uh, that's part of his charm. I mean, the fact that he runs at a mad shop. <laughs> Famous Krishna. Organization of the books. What is your system? Systems are subject to like children's books. Yeah. All this is what you're looking at. And these are all travel books, travel guides. Here these are books on wildlife and uh, related topics. Mostly on the wildlife and nature studies. These are all philosophy. These are all fiction. Light fiction. Oh, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Murthy. <laughs> yeah. I used to visit uh, this shop whenever we come to British Library. And uh, my son was a small boy then. And he used to think, you know, this is the library. <laughs> We, we used to feel, uh, you know, as if all the books in the world are here. It was great fun. There's a lot of chaos, but he seems to see some order in this disorder, which we also haven't figured out yet. Anyway, it's part of Bangalore. You can't be without this shop here. Thirty-five years now, it is, it is almost unbelievable. So much change anywhere. And all the kind of uh, malls and 
multiplex uh, uh, theatres coming in. I think uh, just crazy. <laughs> it only takes some time. It maybe a little culture shock for a little while, but uh, it, I think you'll get used to the things. Or the new generation, you know, not me, but uh, you know, new generation. <laughs> Might <laughs> like this kind of changes. So. I was working with my uncle's shop in Bombay. Then he had to close it down for some reason in '71. Then he said, "You can start your own in some place." So I found. I was trying to get a place, and I found this place. And since then, I'm here. क्या हो गया कुछ नहीं कर सकता है ना क्योंकि इधर तो नहीं है किसी के पास इसलिए जरा टाइम लगा है नहीं मिस्टर शंबर यू हैव दैट बुक हाउ बेबीज थिंक हाउ बेबीज थिंक इज़ इट नो ओह आई डोंट नो व्हाट आई हैव समथिंग सिमिलर वी हैव बट बे समथिंग जीनियस हम Not this. No, not, not that one. Certain books you get a few copies. You can't make a list of them. Need to keep uh, things in the brain. So when they come, uh, should be able to tell them I have it or not have it. Give you a little <laughs> exercise for your brain. <laughs> you should remember what you have. Chanbagh has this incredible memory, and if you tell him about a particular book, and you visit him after three years, he says, "You know, you asked me for this book one day, and here it is for you." So your jaw drops, your gasp. The kind of rapport that we have and discounts that he gives and all. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Not exactly for the discounts we come. To try and understand why uh, Mr. Shanbagh and his shop are so valued, so loved by the citizens of Bangalore, is that this is a city that has experienced dramatic change over the last uh, 30, 35 years. It's been transferred out of recognition. It was a sleepy cantonment town which has now become a bustling megalopolis, and all the old landmarks have gone. Shanbagh's place, like Koshi's down the road, is a reminder that there's some aspects of old Bangalore that remain. Koshi's also has an interesting fare; it has a very charming owner, but also it's a place that has not changed. That you go there for a coffee, then come and look at his books, or come and look at his books and then go there for a coffee. And I think the fact that it is one constant in a city, ever changing. Namaskara, Master. How are you, my dear sir? Oh. So, not for another dose, I hope. No, that's what I was just going to ask you. How is everything going, sir? Oh, oh, okay. It is okay. Ah, so uh, not moving. Staying put for a while, I hope. Yeah. Yes. Sometime. I'm not sure. Oh. Yeah. No, 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 you must. Time. You must. You must stay. <laughs> I mean, that's uh, the way. <laughs> How does this happen? <laughs> uh, many shops stock the the latest books. Shanbagh has a terrific uh, backlist. Doris Lessing got the Nobel Prize this year, very, uh, you know, sort of unexpectedly. And suddenly she gets the Nobel Prize, so you want to read her. And you'll go to a shop, you won't find it. And Shanbagh, I mean, you may get it in the West because she's a British writer, but an Indian shop, Shanbagh will have the whole backlist. You know, someone gets the Booker Prize, people come here, he will find that that same person had written a book 11 years ago, which is forgotten. And Shanbagh has it.
Wow, elf. This is something that you won't see anywhere else in I don't think in the world. <laughs> this is a collector's item. Okay. This is again one of the greatest paradoxes I have ever <laughs> seen because we have all kinds of bookstores now all over the world. But look at this. How would you think we could? Anybody could really find a book. But that is the exciting part of this whole thing. It's like a treasure hunt. Every single time you come here, it's like a treasure. Hunt. Alfie again, like I said, wow. Okay. So much. I'm done with my pleasure, man. <laughs> <laughs> I have a card. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you can't get yeah, these books. No, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I just take these two, sir. If you don't mind. Thank you. to know something a man help, trying to help me out he said if you want to come and open a shop you come to my house i have a big house and you can come and open the shop there <laughs> i never expected i am so popular with that kind of way <laughs> people know me but you know this kind of help i was not expecting <laughs> Really, it was uh, touching in the sense, you know, I never expected uh, you know, people will be so much uh, trying to help me out. Mr. Shanbar? Like a light reading, I liked uh, much his animal form. George Orwell. Good satire. Huh? <laughs> it's quite a good book. <laughs> <laughs> 